pretty much everyone new to the keto diet experiences the same overwhelmed feeling when they're first starting out. After all, this diet is a pretty big shift for the way most of us have been eating for our whole lives. How do you get started? What food should you keep around? There are a lot of decisions to make when you embark on your keto journey, but you don't have to figure it out all by yourself. We're here to make it all a bit easier with a shopping list for at least one week's worth of keto-friendly meals. We've included the average cost of the minimum amount of grocery items you will need to get to make the keto-friendly meals we will suggest. Take it one step at a time, and before you know it, your kitchen will be stocked and you'll have the hang of your new groove. The best way to keep a ketogenic diet budget-friendly is to keep your diet as simple as possible. Fast for breakfast. Enjoy a large salad with chicken or canned salmon and homemade vinaigrette for lunch, and prepare casseroles with cruciferous vegetables, cheese, and protein for dinner. To really keep the budget down, avoid specialty items like almond flour or low-carb sweeteners. We enjoy having a well-rounded pantry, so we'll go over budget breakdown of the meal plan we created that includes all types of keto items. The upfront cost may be a little pricey, but many items are shelf-stable and are only used a little bit at a time. Spread out over time, the costs are not as high as the initial breakdown suggests. Let's begin in the dairy aisle. You'll need two dozen eggs, a four ounce container of half and half, and a four ounce container of heavy whipping cream. Also, be sure to grab full fat sour cream and butter, as well as cheddar and Parmesan cheese. When possible, look for organic, free range eggs and grass fed dairy products. Moving on to the meat and seafood counter. Pick up at least 21 ounces of bacon, but make sure it's keto friendly with no added sugars or carbs. You'll also need a pound of 80-20 ground beef, as well as a 14.75 ounce can of pink salmon. The produce department is where we'll really load up. You'll need a pound and a half of broccoli florets, just over a pound of cauliflower, about four ounces of watercress, and eight ounces of fresh spinach. Look for one medium-sized avocado, as well as two lemons. Grab some fresh chives, dill, basil, and garlic too. If it fits in your budget, choose organic, biodynamic, or local produce. You'll also need some dried spices. You may have some of these at home, but if they're older than six months, consider starting fresh. Stock up on dried parsley flakes, onion and garlic powder, celery salt, red pepper flakes, cayenne pepper, and ground cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and allspice. Don't forget kosher salt and black pepper too. Oils and fats are essential to the keto diet, and we suggest picking up good quality organic olive and avocado oils. Condiments are important too. We like Heinz reduced sugar ketchup, Dijon mustard, and full fat mayonnaise. You might think your days of shopping in the baking aisle are over, but you'd be wrong. Swing through for unsweetened cocoa powder, aluminum-free baking powder, and vanilla extract. Don't leave the grocery store without natural creamy peanut butter, with no added sugar, of course, and a package of keto-friendly pork rinds for snacks. Then shop online for the best deals on other keto essentials like almond flour, psyllium husk powder, powdered erythritol, unsweetened coconut flakes, and liquid stevia. If you broke down the pricing on all these groceries for what you'd need for a week's worth of recipes, you'd be right around $59. Of course, food prices vary depending on where you live and shop, and when you're first starting out on keto, your grocery spending will be higher as you stock your pantry. You can save even more money by buying in bulk, making snacks yourself, and sticking to your meal plan. For more tips, take a look at the Eating Keto on a Budget Guide on Rolled Me. Now that your fridge and shelves are loaded with keto-friendly ingredients, it's time to think about the meals ahead. You can make all of the following meals with the grocery list we just outlined. Breakfast dishes include bacon-crusted frittata muffins and Hunger Buster low-carb bacon frittata. Both of these recipes combine everything we love in the morning. Fluffy eggs, packed with fat, protein, and flavor. With the average cost of groceries in mind, the frittata muffins come out to about $1.20 each, and the low-carb frittata to just 84 cents per serving. For lunch, you can make spinach watercress keto salad and bacon cheeseburger salad. 
The spinach salad is packed with healthy fats from fresh avocado and avocado oil, and the bacon cheeseburger salad, which combines all the flavors of your old fast food favorite in a healthy keto dish. It also uses leftovers from a cheeseburger casserole, more on that later, which makes it a total snap to put together. The pricing of these lunches comes to about $1.61 per serving of the spinach salad and $2.09 for the bacon cheeseburger salad. And for dinner, you'll be able to make salmon patties with fresh herbs and bacon cheeseburger casserole. The salmon patties are perfect for anyone who wants to add more seafood to their diet, but isn't confident about cooking fish. They are so simple to make and come in at just $2.03 per serving. Bacon cheeseburger casserole is a staple dinner for many keto dieters. It's hearty, filling, and satisfying, and always makes plenty of leftovers, a great value at just $1.55 per serving. You can also put together sides of lemon roasted spicy broccoli and easy creamy cauliflower mashed potatoes, which complement both dinner entrees. These won't cost much, $1.25 for the cauliflower and 93 cents for the broccoli. Don't forget dessert. With your groceries, you can make churro mug cake and chocolate peanut butter balls. Both are sure to satisfy your sweet tooth without any added sugar. The chocolate peanut butter balls really do remind us of packaged peanut butter cups. Each of these come to under $2.10 per serving. With these dishes put together in various ways throughout the week, you'll be spending between $5.60 and $7.40 per day and eating between 1,287 and 1,510 calories, not including dessert. With our shopping list and these recipes, you will have food for the whole week. Having a plan helps take so much guesswork out of your day. Plus, you won't run out of food. If you follow our recipes, you'll have extra servings of dinner dishes, sides, and the frittata, so you can customize the plan as needed. For instance, if you run out of greens for your lunchtime salads, you can grab a leftover breakfast frittata, casserole serving, or salmon patty to replace it. How many servings you need to eat per day depends on your calorie needs. Each of the recipes on Ruled Me provides a macronutrient breakdown of total calories, fat, carbs, fiber, net carbs, and protein for each meal. As we often say, no keto plan is one size fits all. Everyone's daily macros are different. To meet your goals, you must still carefully and consistently track your eating habits so that you're getting enough fat and not eating too many carbs. Use the Keto Calculator and Carb Tracking Guide on Ruled Me to determine and track your macros. The entire shopping list and seven-day meal plan are also available on the Ruled Me article titled Ketogenic Diet Shopping List, Recipes, Prep, and Budgeting. And if any of the recipes aren't to your liking, or you have allergies or other dietary issues, feel free to personalize your shopping list and meal plan using the full printable shopping list PDF in the description of the video and on our keto recipe page on the website to guide your choices. While you're there, take a look at the other tips, recommended keto products, and more resources to help you along each step of your journey.